Hey guys. You know when you've lost the ability to even and you just can't? That's me this week. So recently there's been a hashtag going around called YouTube is over party. It's been a topic the past couple days on the internet that YouTube has changed their monetization policies. Or some have said. Now the most notable video that has been circulating this issue has been Philip DeFranco's video titled YouTube is shutting down my channel and I'm not sure what to do about it. Okay, which first off, clickbait much? Secondly, DeFranco has every right to be concerned about his videos. It's his content. So what I'm not saying is that Philip DeFranco's concerns or opinions are invalid. I'm just saying I don't agree with all of them. By the way, it's okay to have different opinions. Who knew? And here's why. According to DeFranco's video, YouTube is now demonetizing content that does not comply to their advertiser-friendly content guidelines. He then gives a couple of examples of some of his videos that have been flagged and blocked for monetization. However, according to this article I found on Observer Business and Tech, YouTube hasn't changed their policies for monetization. They are simply enforcing what has already been established in their terms and agreements that every YouTuber agrees to so that they can upload content to YouTube's website. You might be asking yourself, what is deemed non-advertiser friendly content? Content containing violence, inappropriate language, harassment, profanity, promotion of drugs and drug use, mer -mer 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 -mer. violence, harassment, vulgar language. That stuff doesn't get put on YouTube, right? Oh wait. I mean, there are entire channels dedicated to bashing and cutting down people. And those users are making bank off of these videos. And the conversation goes so much deeper than just targeting popular YouTubers that use profanity. To me, I just feel like there is so, so much negativity in the world and online circulating these days that this is just a way that YouTube can help promote positive content being uploaded to their website. I mean, sure, monetization may look a little different now. I mean, everyone freaked out when YouTube Red was a thing a few months back. Some of the same questions were raised then that are being posed now as to how are content creators going to get paid. Hey Nadine, a traveler vlogger, said it best on her Twitter with a series of tweets saying, YouTube is not over. Monetization and making money off of a platform is a privilege, not a right. Just because we create videos doesn't mean we automatically get the right to make money off of them. Hashtag YouTube is over party has made me realize that people and creators don't understand where YouTube money comes from. Hint, it's not YouTube. She said it exactly right. This ridiculous hashtag has got it wrong. YouTube didn't end when they started cracking down on negative content that went against policy. It ended when creators started caring more about money than the message of their videos. But that's an entirely different video. <laughs> And besides, from what I understand of ad monetization on YouTube, it's not the best system. There are far better ways to support your favorite YouTubers. Freaking Owen Rogers, for instance. He doesn't make a single buck off of any of his videos. And he does great and is quite proud of it. Speaking of, that's who designed this shirt. I support Owen by buying his apparel and going to his soda shop regularly which is scheduled to reopen in its brand spanking new location at the end of October. Be looking for that. What did I just do with my face? I don't even know. Anyway guys, what I hope you take away from this video is to not just take one single YouTuber's opinion about something as fact and to dig deeper, do your own research to help form your own informed opinion. All of my sources will be linked down below as well as on my blog. And let's help spread some positivity. Leave me a comment below and tell me your favorite part of this week. It could be something as little as your favorite song came on the radio and it made you happy. The small things matter. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week and I'll see you later. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. I don't know why I feel so obligated to say that every time. I'm working towards becoming a more structured uploader, so 
be on the lookout for uploads every weekend.